I'm going to briefly describe an interactive simulation that looks at pressure drop in a packed bed reactor. And I've given the location of simulation on the Wolfram site. And the idea is I want to model the pressure drop using the Ergen equation and then look at what effect pressure drop has on conversion and flow rate for a reaction in an isothermal plug flow reactor. So what I'm showing here is what the simulation looks like, where we can plot pressure versus distance down the reactor, molar flow rate, conversion, or volumetric flow rate. And then we have the option of changing the particle diameter. The smaller diameter result in larger pressure drops through the reactor. And the simulation compares two reactors of different lengths. So the idea is that What's kept constant is the feed pressure, and then the pressure drop for each reactor is the same. So the pressure drop changes as the particle diameter changes, but the inlet flow rates are adjusted such that the pressure drop will be the same for a given particle diameter for each reactor. The calculations are set up to compensate for, of course, the longer reactor, if you notice we have a lower molar flow rate coming into the reactor. And this is the molar flow rate of reactant A. So let's go and look at this simulation on the Wolfram site. Here's the interactive simulation. I'm showing first pressure. So the feed pressure is the same for both reactors. And the outlet pressure is the same. Now, to make the outlet pressures the same, we have to adjust the molar flow rate coming into reactor. And this is because pressure drop depends on flow rate, for example, volumetric flow rate through a reactor. For a longer bed to have the same pressure drop, I have to have a smaller volumetric flow rate. And so that's why the green line, the inlet molar flow rate, and the inlet volumetric flow rate, the long reactor is smaller. The other thing to notice in this plot of volumetric flow rate is the volumetric flow rate can increase significantly when we have a large pressure drop. And this increase is just from ideal gas law considerations, namely the temperature is constant and the total molar flow rate of reactants and products is the same. So pressure times volume must be a constant. So as the pressure decreases, the volume occupied by the components must increase, which means the volumetric flow rate must increase. Also, you can look at conversion. Of course, the longer reactor has more conversion, is exposed to more catalyst, and the molar flow rate coming into this long reactor is smaller and we have more time for reaction, so we expect the larger fraction of it to react. Molar flow rate, this case is the molar flow rate of reactant. And of course, it decreases as we react, reactant A to products. And you can then, of course, change the particle diameter to see what effect it has on each of these variables in the simulation. 